So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make a put method, which is going to allow us to edit our most recent creating of a finished post, which we've done. I mean, we finished it. We want to be able to mark that as true, right? Without having to go into the database and do it ourselves. We want to be able to do that through the UI that we're going to create in the future. So what we're going to be able to do is we're just going to do a very simple router.put. And then we're going to do a slash, and it's going to be ID, a function of request and res. Now, what this is going to say is that put is only going to allow something with an ID after it. So the URL is going to look like localhost 3000 API to do slash one. Or for us, it's going to be actually two, because that's what we want to edit. So this is the ID of the one we want to edit. So we could edit one. So that's what this ID is saying, is saying, hey, there's going to be an argument here that we want to do or that we want to edit. And then you're going to get that off of your request. So we're going to do console.log request.params.id. And then we're going to do res.send hello, just so we can render something on the screen. So we're going to actually go to this link. We're going to do, are we? Okay, our node mode's running. If yours isn't running, run it now. So we're going to do API slash to do, or actually we're going to have to do this to Postman because it's going to be a put request. But we're going to do put API slash to do slash two. We're going to send that up. It sent us back hello. We go back to our iterm and it sent us two. So if we were to do, you know, like a bunch of strings, same idea would work. So now that we have that, it's going to be very simple to do what we want to do, I think. We're going to want to do a simple put command. So we're going to want to edit the one we were just doing. So we want to do db with our table of to do. And then we're going to want to say where our id is request.params.id. So what we've just said, what we've just made is select star from db, or select star from, you know, whatever database or whatever table we're in. So we'll say to do where id is equal to our id. But our id is the one that's coming off of our request.params, which is, you know, inside the, this is our two here, it's inside our link. So what we're going to do is we're going to say update with request.body. And again, we want to return whatever we just got. And then we're going to, you know, return our data back with request.send data. We're going to get rid of that comment because it's unnecessary. So let's give this a shot. Let's see how it goes. Our server is running. We're going to go to Postman. And again, for a put, you're going to need a body because we're going to actually want to send the data up. So we'll do, instead of false for is done, we'll do true. We'll send that up. It's loading, since we have an error. Invalid syntax for integer. Ah, we don't want to send in the ASD, whatever, we want to send it into two. So we will cancel that request and we'll send the new one. We have another error. Rec.send is not a function. We want res.send. The result is what we want to send, not the request. So Nodeman should have refreshed. We will send that again. And let's see, we got star back. That's not what we wanted. Ah, we have return. But let's see in our git request if that's what we got. So we'll get rid of that URL argument on the end. We'll do git. Oh, look at that. Done is true. But we don't want to return star. We're going to do returning star. So no one should have restarted. We will edit our first one to say first test and we'll name it second test. So we'll do a put. We'll have a body of second test. And we'll send it. See, we got an error. Ah, I forgot to put the argument on there or the index or the ID. Sorry, can't speak today. We'll send that. And there we go. We got back what we wanted. We named it second test, and the is done is true. That's pretty cool. Now, I bet you're thinking, what happens if we don't send something? Is that going to overwrite it, or is that just going to send up what we have? Let's check it out. 
So instead of our second test, let's do third test. Let's send it up. Huh, it kept is done. Now, this is wrong for a put request. Put requests are, in theory, supposed to remove the is done attribute because that's what a put request is. Again, we're going to talk in the next video about the difference between put and patch. So I'm going to kind of leave this up in the air. But what we need to do is we need to make it to where whenever we send a request.body, we want to update everything. So we want to make sure that we update things that don't go up just because that's kind of what the specification of put is supposed to be. We'll make a patch immediately after this. We can actually just change this to a patch and that'll be kind of correct. This is what a patch is supposed to do where whenever you update request.body it just updates the one that you sent and not removes the ones that you didn't send. So we've made our patch so we can actually kind of copy this. You probably shouldn't copy and paste code like this but we're just going to do it. it. Makes it a lot simpler. And then we're going to do a put. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it to where if request.body doesn't have an ID or a, an attribute on it, it just overwrites it. So what we're going to do is we're not just going to update the request.body. We're going to actually do each one individually. So what we can do, so we'll do a nice enter there. And then we'll actually do that as well. We'll put that down there just so it looks decent. And then we'll say title is request.body.title and that is done. So it'd be rec.body.is done. So if is done is undefined, it should, in theory, make this undefined, therefore null. In title, if it's undefined, it should be null. Now, we probably shouldn't have allowed that to happen, but it is. And that's how it's going to work for us because I want to be able to explain the difference between patch and put. So let's try our put again. Interesting. What we've got here is we've still got it there. This is a way that connects handles undefined. As you saw, whenever we just sent in request.body, it said, hey, I don't really, you know, I don't care. I'm just not going to look at that column. So any column that's undefined is going to be skipped. We want it to be null. So what we're going to do is we're going to say request.body.title or null or request.body.is is done or null. So what this is going to say is, if this is undefined, make it null. Otherwise, put this in there. So we'll give this a shot and see how it works. Ah, that's more what we were looking for. So I'm going to, as you can see, the difference between put and push, uh, put and patch, or that patch is only going to modify the one that it cares about. So if we do, you know, if we say that we want to update this to true, but we don't care about title. It's going to keep the title. But if we do a patch of the other way or a put of the other way around, it's going to get rid of our is done. So that's the difference between put and patch. Now, there's a reason that there's a difference between put and patch, and I'm going to explain it in this upcoming video. It's not going to be super necessary to watch, but it is pretty interesting. And someone might ask you a question in an interview in one day. It's like, hey, what's the difference between put and patch? So we're going to talk about it very briefly, and then we're going to finish up with our delete and our get specific, and then we're going to move on to the front end. And then hopefully we'll be pretty close to being done after our front end. We we'll, might add some more intricate features like testing, handling errors in here, sending down the correct request code, stuff like that. But those will take a little longer videos because they're a little harder to explain, a little harder to implement. Obviously, this is super simple stuff. Um, we might do some embedded stuff or some deeper stuff where we have users and stuff like that, but that'll come later. Right now, I just want to get a very simple API down. So I'll see you next video.